G'day, I'm Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv and in this video we're going to take a look at arrays. Now I have a VCL application here where I've got a bunch of buttons and we can see we are declaring a static array of integer and setting those values of the array to zero and then we've got this blah open and check. So if I click on check, this basically says if the value we pass in is zero, we say it's unchanged, otherwise it's changed. So blah open is an open array. So this is an open array of integers. And we're just trying to change the first element or the, uh, I suppose it's the second element because it's an array indexed from zero uh, to two. So something other than zero. And then we're just checking to confirm that the array hasn't changed. So if I run this and click on our static button, we see that our, our array is unchanged. And if we want it to, it to be changed, I can just change this to a var parameter. And now our value has gone from zero to two. So the next button is a dynamic array. And we see we have an array of integer again. And we can declare or um, initialize our array uh, using sort of this uh, array constant or declaring it inline rather than having to use set length and assigning the values individually. So this is, uh, I'm not sure what version of Delphi introduced this. Um, dynamic arrays were introduced in Delphi 4. So if we have a look, so this we see that this is array of integer, it's a dynamic array, and this array of integer, and although the syntax is exactly the same, this is an open array, and the other one is a dynamic array. So this more closely resembles a static array of variable size, or of und undetermined size. And so we can execute this, and rather unsurprisingly, we get an unchanged value. And again, if we make this var, it's changed. So nothing, nothing particularly exciting there. So next is a generic array, and we see we've got a declaring a t array of integer and we're doing that same same inline declaration of or um, initialization of the array and we could do it the old-fashioned way but um, it's uh, pretty much prefer doing it that way and then we have blah generic which is just the same again passing in by value and we're assigning that index one or index yeah index one to the value two and then we're checking that it's still the same now if we go generic we go the value is changed despite the fact we have passed in our array by value and i could say var there or even const and it still is changed so this is because a generic array so this is a typed dynamic array so this is actually taking a dynamic array as a parameter which means well dynamic arrays are effectively pointers and so we're not actually modifying i'd have to go signs zero in fact i don't even know if this will work no i'm not even i don't think that's going to work either so because obviously um there we go oh yeah unchanged so and we get a, a, a compile error 
So we're not actually, so that we're passing in effectively a pointer to the contents of the array. And uh, that line of code is changing the array, but that line of the code is changing the content of the array. So let's go back. Well, in fact, let's go on with, we have a variant array. So I'm just kind of uh, iterating over the, the types of arrays. Uh, and we use var array of, and we pass in a, an array of variants and we don't check. So nothing, you don't want to go too much into variants in <laughs> this video because it's a quite a large subject, but just in a different array type. We have a T my array, which is a static array. So it's a typed static array. And again, um, it, it remains unchanged. So if we have a look at that, it's taking a typed static array as a parameter and typed dynamic. And so we have a T my dynamic array, which is a declared as a um, dynamic array. And la dynamic takes my dynamic array, and then we check. And if you want to take a guess, um, it is changed because we're passing in this, this, this procedure is taking a dynamic array, just like this generic version. So these are both dynamic arrays and this is an open array. So, so the other thing is there is some type compatibility issues. So if we go to the dynamic array, I can't say blah generic on this because they're different types, even though they're both dynamic arrays of integer. And I can't say blah blah dynamic because this array of integer is different from this array of integer because we've we've made it strongly typed and we have you know type safety in Delphi or Pascal in general. And so we can only really call blah open on that. Which means if you've got an array of integer, it's quite difficult to oh, in fact I suppose we could probably haven't actually tried this. Okay, so you could do that, but it's rather cumbersome. Um, so really, with, without doing a hard typecast, you're limited to open arrays as parameters. And of course, with a generic array, we can pass that to a function or procedure that takes an open array as a parameter. And of course, this will be unchanged in this case. And our static array, oh, I've got check. La type. Should have been that for, for my demonstration, but that's fine. Uh, oh, no, but it's open. So there we go. Blah typed. So I can't go blah typed. Because again, because of type safety, this array of integer, while is being exactly the same as this array of integer, T my array is not. So if you want a procedure that can take the as many different array types as possible, open array is the one you want to use and do declare it either const or var, depending on whether it's modified or not, because otherwise the entire contents of the array is copied. And if you've got a large array, that could be expensive because we're passing it in 
by value. So a copy needs to be made so we can make potentially make changes to it and not affect the original. So you want to either declare it as var or as const for performance reasons. Um, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to cover. So if you want assignment compatibility, you can do hard casts potentially, or you can declare types and you have to use that type everywhere. I'd, I'd recommend using an open array as a parameter to a method for the most part, unless you have specific requirements that you know you need a need to pass in a dynamic array. So I'm Alistair Christie. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, it's rather long and convoluted, but yeah, Delphi has quite a number of different array types uh, that you can take advantage of, depending on how how you want to arrange things. Static arrays, of course, can't be resized. They're, they're, they're a fixed size. But dynamic arrays, you can resize. You know, you can uh, call the set length method to change the number of elements uh, available. Um, so that's it for this video. I'll catch you in the next one. I hope this was helpful. If you want to support the channel, do go and buy a copy of my book or uh, videos. So Code Faster in Delphi, uh, you can find that on learndelphi.tv along with my commercial videos. So uh, I'll catch you in the next video.